Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Unranked the Challenger. I've been grinding out a few games of League, but not really that many. So far I'm on a pretty big loss streak. I've been playing decently well in these games, but not well enough to 1v9, so I still gotta improve in that sense, but not really tilted, cause I know that right now I'm getting a bit unlucky, so I'll, it'll even out eventually. I've lost like six of my last, or five of my last six games. I've gotten Lethality, Tristana supports that go 2 and 17. So I think I'll be fine after a couple of games. I'm at Diamond 2, 1 LP. And before that loss streak, I was about to be in promo. So let's see if I can get back there. All right, it looks like my camera isn't working, so I won't be using it for this video. I don't really know why. I'm guessing it like died or something. This game's gonna be pretty hard, I feel like, cause got a nice cat top with no flash, so don't really know what she's planning on doing. And it looks like she's not gonna leash me either. God, I love these teams. Pretty sure she doesn't even play cat. Like, my mid lane and my top lane are both Zen main, so... They just argued over who gotta play it. Now one's tilted. It's like mid lost prior to, so... Now I won't be able to fight at the crab top. I may be able to gank around the loop around, though. When clearing wolves, you're gonna wanna auto Q E one of them and then empowered E one of them as well. Oh my god, my top lane actually won. That was so close, and that's actually so important that she won that. I'm gonna try to gank mid here. She has no mana. Yeah, uh, I don't know what this guy's doing. This is pretty good for us. I get the assist and also I get to push out the lane, which is really good. Oh, it's actually not going to push out all the way, so I have to push another wave. This is good for me, but kind of bad for the Zed, honestly. Shawana comes here. This is good. I have Zed coming. Yeah, this is <laughs> she's doing some pathetic damage. This is really good, because this Zed is actually a Zed main, so... Uh, he'll actually be able to do something, hopefully. Every Zed I've had in the past, like, 10 games, they just completely ran it down. I'm actually level 5 here, too. This is so good for me. I'm so ahead. At 4 minutes is pretty crazy to be level 5. I'm gonna actually try to gank mid here. Yeah, she's pushed up. She doesn't have flash. I'll flash E on her and she should die if I hit it. It's really hard for people to react against flash E. Oh my god, actually. Alright, that's pretty good. I didn't actually, actually... I thought I flashed the E part of it so that I wouldn't get pushed back, but I guess not. But doesn't look like it mattered too much. Shivana could solo this really easily, so I need my team to ward it. This is a really good start, and I am not going to mess around here. I could- we should be able to dive top here once I hit 6. I'm actually so mad now. I refuse to lose. Looks like the Jack's back, so we can't dive him. 
here, I could sit in the bush and get a lot of damage off on him, but because Dragon's up, I want to go bot and gank it so we can get Dragon. Shivana can re really easily take Dragon because her passive actually gives her increased damage against Dragons, so yeah, oh, she did take it. I knew she would. That's actually really annoying. This Lux just had no clue. Just took it right under her nose. It's fine though. I'm actually gonna go try to invade into their jungle here and kill her at her red. First, I'm gonna try to gank mid though, so I get Pariah. This should be really free. Dude, Zed! Oh, he's not six. Alright, he got the kill though. There's 100% dead. I'm gonna be so sad if. 3 HP, that is so unlucky. The Zed wasn't 6 when I thought he was. That's actually super bad for us. Sh yeah, Siobhan is here. Siobhan is probably going to come here with the Janna. I need to be a little careful of the Syndra because she still has her ulti. Maybe if I sit in this bush she won't know. This is a really risky spot for me. Because I have my... Um, I have a shutdown I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to back off and go do blue. I would try to gank this spot but I don't have my ulti otherwise I 100% would and they definitely would die here. Shawana shouldn't have been able to get this scuttle unless she ran straight here. I could probably kill her here. I need a Jax to jump on her if we're gonna do something here. Yeah, we can't. Oh my god, that's actually really good. The Zed should be able to pick this up too. Oh, oh this, is this what it feels like to have a team? Because this actually feels amazing. I've never felt so good in my life. The game actually feels easy. Before, I legitimately had like 100% kill participation in every single one of my games, but now it looks like my team will actually do something without me. Normally when you play ranked, you're going to want to set an amount of games. Oh god, she's dead. You're going to want to set an amount of games where if you, if you lose like two in a row, then you stop playing. But I, I lost two games in a row and I normally stop, but I knew I was feeling that I'm actually playing pretty well, so I played another because I cannot sleep without this, without winning a game. I should be able to kill this guy here. He's gonna have to waste his. Gonna wait for my E so I get the stack. Holy, that was actually really close because I missed the E there. But it's alright. I didn't really think it would get that close, otherwise, I would have saved the E and just made sure I hit it. With Dragon up, I'm gonna path towards Dragon. This set is very good. I'm surprised. My last one, I got him first blood, and then he just continued to solo die to the Blanc three times in a row, so my expectations aren't really high anymore. The bot lane's winning too, which is really nice. I'm gonna go kill this Siobhan in her jungle now, or if she tries to contest this crab. I'm extremely strong here. Oh gosh. Alright, he didn't die. I would come help him in gank, and we would be able to kill them there, but he doesn't have ulti, so it's not really worth it. Unless he does stay for some reason. Yeah, for that gank to work, she has to run towards the bush, but looks like she didn't. I'm going to try to get dragon here.
If she QEs this wave, I should be able to kill her. Doesn't look like it though. Yeah, Siobhan is going to lose her whole top side jungle for that gank top. Or her bot side. And then I'm going to try to gank mid or either bot. Both should be extremely free. I'm a tad bit scared of the Syndra, but I think it should be fine because I have flash to get out. Shivana should be walking through these bushes to get to her red. I'm going to break this plant so she won't have an escape. I really want to kill it kill the Shivana here. Yeah, she went bot side though. It's really good to oh god. No lux, please, 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 please. This should be pretty free for the Katarina. She plays it correctly. Yeah, she did. Nice job. I should be able to kill the Siobhan in her jungle here. She's likely gonna go up. Actually, it looks like my bot lane's trapping her. Oh, it looks like I found a little Syndra in the jungle instead. It's so important if you're ahead as a Rengar to just sit in their jungle, but you need to make sure you don't die. Otherwise, it, the game is extremely throwable. Wow, am I actually dead here? I don't think I am. I have to be a little careful of the Ezreal ults. Oh wow, he's, I'm probably dead. I'm actually gonna go Executioner's second item here because they're all building tabbies and I wanna consistently one-shot them. If, I, if they have tabbies and I don't have Last Whisper, the one-shot's not as clean and they have a chance for counterplay and as Rengar mains, we do not want that, so... Ooh, uh, Katarina, please. She is so behind, thank you. Yeah, she is going for her red. Yeah, that's so lucky. My cooldown, my cooldown wasn't up, so I couldn't get my fifth ferocity that fast. Wow, this guy just yoinked my red. I literally helped him out so much too, and he just yoinks my camps. Just wanted to secure that kill. Syndra's a really annoying champion with her stun. <laughs> this Siobhan is actually so sad right now. She's died in her jungle like six times. But yeah, if you guys lose like a billion games as well, the most important part is to... Oh my god! With the Jax go. The most important part is to not get tilted and just keep playing. Honestly, like, the biggest tip I have for climbing is to not worry about actually winning the game. It's just how you play th that game in general. Like, I play to improve, pretty much. Like, that's the number one way to win games. Or just climb in general. I'm surprised you didn't take that. Oh, you can have it. Blue on Zed is actually really good, because he really needs the energy. We actually have to try here, or just get Baron together to close out the game. Because this is still losable, believe it or not. All games are always losable, so you don't want to get too carried away. You can have a little fun, but... After you int a couple of times, it's it's time to end the game. And it looks like the MF wants to end. Oh my god, this guy is actually so sad. Oh, this guy's a bit dead. Oh my god, 
No way. No, I wanted to kill. Yeah, it looks like that's over. They try to fight us when they're so far behind. It's really stupid by them. Alright, Zed, I'm watching. Ooh, very nice team. That was a pretty clean game. Finally back on track to Challenger. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.